Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss model merging, which is the process of combining multiple expert models to create a new, potentially stronger model. This technique offers several advantages. It reduces storage and serving costs by allowing us to use a single model for various tasks, enhances the combination of capabilities from different expert models, and supports decentralized development by enabling multiple contributors to build and merge models. Despite the promise of model merging, most existing studies focus on small models and limited experiments, typically involving just two or three expert models. These studies mainly aim to improve performance on tasks that the expert models were originally trained on. However, we notice a gap in comprehensive research that evaluates how model merging performs as we increase model size. We also recognize that the relationship between model size, the number of expert models, and the quality of the base model is not well understood, especially regarding their impact on performance in both familiar and new tasks. Our main objective in this paper is to explore the scalability of model merging. While some studies have looked at merging larger models, they often only combine a few models to enhance performance on known tasks. Therefore, we seek to answer four key research questions. 1. How does using pre-trained versus instruction-tuned base models affect the creation of expert models for merging? 2. Does the difficulty of model merging change with increasing model size? 3. How does merging influence zero-shot generalization to new tasks, and how is this affected by model size? 4. What is the maximum number of expert models we can merge without losing performance, and how does this relate to model size? To address these questions, we systematically evaluate current merging methods through empirical experiments. We utilize the POM2 model and its instruction-tuned version, scaling up to 64 billion parameters. We test four popular merging methods, averaging, task arithmetic, ties merging, and dare ties. Our experiments consider various factors, including model size, base model quality, and the number of models being merged while evaluating both familiar tasks and new tasks. Our findings reveal important insights into model merging. First, we find that the choice of model initialization significantly impacts the performance of the merged model, with instruction-tuned models outperforming pre-trained ones. Second, larger models are generally easier to merge, regardless of the base model or merging method used. Third, merging improves zero-shot generalization allowing the merged model to adapt better to new tasks, often matching or exceeding the performance of strong multi-task training baselines. Fourth, larger models can effectively merge more expert models. Overall, our experiments highlight specific scenarios where model merging is particularly beneficial and provide recommendations for practitioners. Our results underscore the potential of model merging at scale to create highly adaptable language models, encouraging further research into practical and scalable merging methods. Section Summary In this section, we explore model merging, which combines multiple expert models to create a more efficient and capable model, highlighting its benefits such as reduced costs and improved generalization. We aim to investigate how factors like model size, base model quality, and the number of expert models influence the effectiveness of merging particularly in terms of performance on both familiar and novel tasks, using empirical experiments with various merging methods and model sizes up to 64 billion parameters. Section, Background. In this section, we discuss the background of model merging, which has become a cost-effective way to create better models. We often use merging in two main ways. First, to combine model checkpoints from different data versions, hyperparameters, or training stages to improve robustness, and second, to merge multiple expert models trained on different datasets to utilize their unique strengths. Typically, these expert models share a common architecture and are derived from a base model through fine-tuning. Our focus is on merging specialized, fine-tuned versions of a single base model to enhance its performance. Each expert model is trained on different datasets that cover various tasks and capabilities. We refer to the datasets used for training these expert models as held in, while the new, unseen datasets are called held out. 
Our aim is to create a unified model that maintains the strengths of the expert models on held-in tasks while improving its ability to generalize to held-out tasks. This merging approach allows us to flexibly add new features and capabilities to top-performing models. We define the set of expert tasks as T1, T2, Tn, and the base model weights as theta underscore base. The weights of the specialized expert models, which we obtain by fully fine-tuning the base model on specific tasks, are denoted as theta underscore 1, theta underscore n. We concentrate on open vocabulary, models that use natural language for both classification and generation tasks, simplifying the merging process by not requiring task-specific classification heads. We define model merging methods as a function m that takes the base model, the set of n expert models, and possibly additional information, denoted as phi. This additional information might include activation statistics or other relevant data. The output of this function is the merged model, represented by its parameters theta underscore m. Given our focus on large models, we select four merging methods based on their popularity and simplicity. We only consider methods that can handle tens of billions of model parameters without needing extra information for merging as these techniques are efficient for larger models. We skip more complex methods that require additional computations due to their complexity. Next, we describe the four selected model merging methods in detail. For parameter averaging, we take the mean of all expert model weights without using the base model. This technique is well established in federated learning and has been extended to enhance model robustness and develop multimodal and multitask models. Task arithmetic introduces the idea of task vectors for merging. For each task t, the task vector is defined as tau underscore i equals theta underscore i, theta underscore base, capturing the specific knowledge gained from fine tuning. A scaling hyperparameter lambda controls how much this task specific knowledge contributes to the final model. We construct the merged model by combining the base model parameters with a scaled sum of all task vectors. Section Summary. In this section, we explore model merging as a cost-effective strategy to enhance model capabilities by combining specialized expert models trained on distinct datasets. We focus on methods that simplify the merging process for large language models, specifically through parameter averaging and task arithmetic, to retain expert performance on known tasks while improving generalization on unseen tasks. Section. B Group Color. Plottered. Dollar math, ties. Dollar E group merging identifies two main challenges with model merging. 182 during fine tuning expert models accumulate a lot of noise in the parameters, and 183 different experts might want to change the same parameter in different directions, leading to interference, conflict between the expert models. They demonstrate that both of these factors hurt model merging and propose a three steps process to remove redundant parameters followed by resolving sign conflicts, and finally aggregating only the parameters that are not conflicting. Specifically, in B group color, plotted, dollar math, ties, dollar E group merging, they first zero out the values in each task vector that have low magnitudes to obtain the trimmed task vector B group color, plotted, dollar hat, tau, underscore math, i, dollar E group for each task. Next, they chose the aggregate sign, B group color, plotted, dollar gamma underscore math, m, dollar E group, for each parameter based on whether the parameter has a higher total magnitude in the positive or the negative direction across all trimmed task vector. Formally, B group color, plotted, dollar gamma underscore math, m, equals text rm, sgn, sum underscore, math, i equals 1, caret, math, n, hat, tau, underscore math, i, dollar E group. Finally, for each parameter's B group color, plotted, dollar $P dollar $E group the models whose sign matches the aggregate sign are averaged to obtain the merged task vector. Finally, the merged model is obtained by scaling the merged task vector using a hyperparameter B group color, plotted, dollar lambda dollar $E group and then added back to the base model as B group color, plotted, dollar theta underscore math M, caret math P, equals theta underscore math base plus l math i in a caret math p hat tau 
underscore math i caret math p dollar e group where b group color plotted dollar a caret math p equals math i in math and r t tilde hat dance caret math p underscore death dot equals gamma underscore death um caret math p dollar e group in this section, we discuss the merging process in model training, highlighting two main challenges. First, during the fine tuning of expert models, noise accumulates in the parameters. Second, different experts may attempt to adjust the same parameter in conflicting ways. We show that these issues negatively impact model merging and propose a three step approach. First, we eliminate redundant parameters. Second, we resolve sign conflicts. And third, we aggregate only the non conflicting parameters. Specifically, in our method, ties merging, we start by setting to zero the values in each task vector that are small, creating a trimmed task vector for each task. Next, we determine the overall sign for each parameter based on whether it has a greater total magnitude in the positive or negative direction across all trimmed task vectors. Finally, for each parameter, we average the models that match the overall sign to create the merged task vector. We then scale this merged task vector using a hyperparameter and add it back to the base model. We also introduce the DARE method, which builds on ties merging by incorporating a dropout-like pruning stage to reduce noise before merging. This involves applying a random mask to each task vector, which zeroes out some elements while maintaining the expected value. The pruned task vectors are then used with either ties merging or task arithmetic. Due to its popularity, we refer to the variant that uses ties merging as dare ties. Despite the increasing use of model merging in practice, particularly in modern language models like Llama 3 and Gemma 2, most formal studies have focused on smaller models. While some research has examined larger models with 7 billion and 13 billion parameters, these studies primarily aim to improve benchmark results rather than explore how model size influences the merging process and outcomes. We aim to address these gaps by highlighting the limitations of existing studies and contrasting them with our work. Most existing research on model merging has been conducted with models smaller than 7 billion parameters. For instance, popular methods like model soup, task arithmetic, and ties merging have primarily tested on models with fewer than 1 billion parameters. This raises questions about the effectiveness of model merging for larger models, the factors that are significant, and how model size and the number of tasks being merged impact performance and generalization. While some studies suggest that larger models may be easier to merge, there is a lack of comprehensive large scale research to validate these claims. Section Summary in this section, we address the challenges of model merging, particularly the noise accumulation during fine-tuning and conflicting parameter updates from different expert models. We propose a three-step merging process and introduce the DARE ties method, which incorporates a dropout-like pruning stage to enhance the merging of task vectors, while also highlighting the limitations of existing studies that primarily focus on smaller models and lack comprehensive analysis on larger models. Section. Model merging studies with large models are shallow. In this section, we discuss recent studies on model merging, particularly those involving large models with up to 13 billion parameters, such as DARE and WIDEN emerging. However, these studies have limitations. They mainly aim to enhance model quality without exploring how model size affects merging. Additionally, they typically merge only two or three models at a time and focus on specific tasks lacking insights into how merging impacts a model's ability to generalize. Other works like Reward Soup and Fuse Chat also deal with models around 7 billion parameters but concentrate on particular applications of merging without delving into how merging performance varies for larger models. We note that many previous studies do not clearly share their experimental setups, which can vary significantly. For instance, Different studies use various datasets and tasks, such as glue tasks or specific performance evaluations. Our focus is on combining model capabilities after training, so we evaluate both held in tasks and the model's ability to generalize to unseen held out tasks. To address the limitations we've identified, we systematically investigate how factors like model size, 
base model quality, merging method, and the number of models merged affect both held-in and generalization performance of the final merged model. For our data, we adopt a common experimental setting based on the T0 mixture, which includes eight held-in and four held-out task categories. We select two datasets from each category based on their popularity and size to minimize evaluation costs. The held-in categories cover various tasks like multiple-choice QA and sentiment analysis, while the held-out categories include tasks like natural language inference and CO reference resolution. Recognizing the importance of post-training for large language models, we perform full fine-tuning to create our expert models, simulating the post-training environment. We also examine the impact of using strong instruction-tuned base models in the merging process. We utilize the POM2 models of different sizes as our base models and fine-tune them on the FLANV2 dataset, excluding T0 mixture tasks. These instruction-tuned models are labeled as POM2 it. For each type of base model, we conduct full fine-tuning on the eight held in task categories, resulting in 64 specialized expert models for our experiments. We provide detailed information about hyperparameters and computational needs in the appendix. Section Summary In this section, we highlight the limitations of existing model merging studies, which often focus on small models and lack insights into the effects of model size and generalization performance. We propose a systematic evaluation of various factors influencing model merging, utilizing a diverse set of tasks and instruction-tuned base models to enhance our understanding of merging outcomes. Section Experimental Setting In this section, we describe our experimental setup. For each merging experiment, we select a group of expert models, which we refer to as the constituent models. We create a comprehensive grid of merging experiments using two base models, specifically POM2 and POM2IT. We explore four different model sizes, 1 billion, 8 billion, 24 billion, and 64 billion parameters. Additionally, we apply four merging methods, averaging, task arithmetic, dare ties, and ties. We vary the number of constituent models, choosing from 2, 4, 6, or 8, and we use three random seeds to select the tasks for each experiment. This results in a total of 384 merging experiments. We ensure that the same seeds are used across different settings to maintain consistency in task selection for fair comparisons. For instance, in one experiment, we merge two expert models from the 64 billion parameter POM2 base model using MCQ and summarization experts as the constituent models. In another experiment with a different seed, we used closed book QA and sentiment analysis experts instead. In our evaluation, we assess the performance of the merged models on both the held-in tasks, which are the training tasks of the constituent expert models, and on four held-out task categories. For example, if we use MCQ and summarization experts, we evaluate on the MCQ datasets like Dream and Cosmos QA, and on summarization datasets such as CNN Daily Mail and XSUM, resulting in four held in evaluation datasets. We also evaluate all merging experiments on four held out task categories, which include seven datasets listed in the appendix. Overall, we conduct around 9,000 model evaluations across our experiments. To compare performance across different datasets, we normalize the metrics to make them unitless. For held in tasks, we normalize the merged model's performance against the corresponding expert model's performance. For held out tasks, we normalize relative to the base model's performance. We refer to this as normalized performance throughout the paper. A value of 1 indicates performance comparable to the reference model. For held in tasks, it means performance similar to the expert model, and for held out tasks, it indicates similarity to the base model. We highlight this in our figures and specify the models used for normalization. To generate aggregated results, we calculate the mean normalized performance across all datasets in each category, then across all categories, and finally over the three seeds. In our experimental results, we investigate how model size interacts with key factors like base model quality, merging method, 
and the number of constituent models, and how these factors affect both held-in and zero-shot generalization performance. Our findings indicate that merging is more effective when the constituent models come from instruction-tuned base models rather than pre-trained ones. We also find that larger models make merging easier, and that merging significantly enhances zero-shot generalization, especially with instruction-tuned models benefiting from more constituent models. Larger model sizes help the merged model match or exceed the performance of multi-task training. Furthermore, we discover that different merging methods yield similar results when applied to large-scale instruction-tuned models. We will discuss these findings in detail below. Section Summary In this section, we describe our experimental setup for merging expert models, which includes a grid of 384 experiments varying in base models, sizes, merging methods, and constituent models, while ensuring fair comparisons through shared random seeds. We evaluate the merged models on both held-in and held-out tasks, normalizing performance metrics for aggregation, and find that merging is more effective with instruction-tuned models and larger sizes, significantly enhancing zero-shot generalization. Section. Instruction-tuned models facilitate easier merging. In this section, we explore how instruction-tuned models make merging easier. Previous studies suggest that strong zero-shot models can effectively merge, and averaging these models can enhance their robustness in unfamiliar situations. We also find that good pre-training helps separate model weights, which aids in merging. Although some research proposes that strong base models could improve merging, this idea hasn't been thoroughly tested. To investigate how the quality of base models impacts the performance of merged models, we conduct experiments using fully fine-tuned experts from two versions of the POM2 model. We test various model sizes, including 1 billion, 8 billion, 24 billion, and 64 billion parameters, as well as different numbers of models to merge, ranging from 2 to 8. We measure performance over three trials to reduce the influence of specific expert models and their data. A consistent starting point is used across all models and methods to ensure fair comparisons. We evaluate four merging techniques, averaging, task arithmetic, ties, and dare ties, and we also compare these to task-specific expert models. Our findings show that the instruction-tuned POM2 models consistently outperform the standard POM2 models across different merging methods, sizes, and numbers of models. This supports our idea that stronger instruction-tuned base models improve the performance of merged models. We believe that large-scale instruction tuning helps separate model weights, making merging more effective and enhancing zero-shot performance. Regarding the loss landscape and weight interpolation, we note that while neural network loss functions are typically complex, recent research indicates that we can sometimes connect parameters from different training runs without increasing loss. Various methods have been developed to find low-loss paths between models, focusing on simple interpolations. Some studies show that if two networks share part of their optimization path, they can be interpolated without losing accuracy. However, interpolating networks with completely different paths can lead to significant accuracy drops. It has been suggested that if we consider the symmetry of neural networks, all networks of the same architecture trained on the same data are connected in a linear way. This idea of a low loss area and parameter space is crucial for merging models. We also discuss various merging methods used in our experiments, noting that the growing interest in model merging has led to many new techniques and applications. Some methods we didn't cover include tangent task arithmetic, which fine tunes models in a way that improves weight separation, and evolutionary algorithms that help decide which layers to merge. Other techniques like slurp and model stock focus on the geometric aspects of weight space, with slurp performing spherical interpolation and model stock approximating a central weight based on several fine tuned models. Additionally, some methods train a mask to identify important parameters for the merged model or use a gating network to predict weights for averaging during inference. There are also various applications for model merging, including training for intermediate tasks, continual learning, model alignment, and merging models across different modalities.